well, hopefully we're not going to expect what we had last year. We will expect H1N1 to show up again this year. It's already showing up around the world in the Southern Hemisphere where we expect it to be. But we're also probably going to see some of the other strains of influenza which are included in the current vaccine. So we're going to see what's called H3N2 and B in different parts of the world and possibly in the U.S. as well. But we don't expect the severity that we saw last year. So what would be your vaccination recommendation for families this year? Well, we always recommend annual influenza vaccinations for children. This year in particular, it's important to remember that the recommendation for influenza vaccination is for universal use. That is for everyone six months of age and older, including older adults. We've heard that some children need more than one vaccine. Can you explain that to us? Yes, in general, influenza vaccines um, are dosed differently for children nine, nine years of age and younger versus those over nine years of age, and that's not different this year. However, uh, there are differences in whether a child should receive one or two doses of vaccine if they're under nine years of age based on what vaccines they got last season. And the reason is that last season we had the H1N1 pandemic vaccine versus the seasonal vaccine and so this year there is a little bit of a difference as to whether a child under nine should receive either one dose or two doses and parents are encouraged to talk to their providers who will help them make that decision. Well it depends where you live in the US um, and generally people think around December, January it can start but we generally recommend vaccination as soon as possible and I understand that vaccines are already available in most parts of the country at this point so the earlier the better. Uh, September is a good time to start obviously but you can still be vaccinated even through December and still have an impact on, uh, on protection when the flu starts circulating sometime in January or February. So tell me about the pertussis vaccine and why it's needed. Well, pertussis is, again, always recommended for children. Uh, it's a routine immunization for children. There's also a new vaccine called Tdap, which includes the new acellular pertussis vaccine, and it's included as a booster for older children and adults. The reason it's particularly important right now for us is that there's an epidemic in California in which thousands of people have become infected, including several infant deaths. And since infants, very young infants, do not generally get the full dose of pertussis vaccines, those around them must be vaccinated, including healthcare workers. So we need everyone to get vaccinated with the Tdap vaccine if they're over seven years of age, and for all children seven and under to get their routine pertussis vaccine.